Good morning. Welcome to our service for uh, Sunday the 28th of March, Palm Sunday. We start with some sentences of scripture and a prayer. Let us worship God. Lift up your heads, O gates, and lift them up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord our God, on this day we remember with joy the entry of your Son, Jesus Christ, into Jerusalem. As the gates of the city open to receive him, so we open the doors of our hearts that he may come in to reign in us. As the people gather to spread their garments on the way and to cut palm branches to greet him, so we gather, virtually at least, to praise and welcome him as one who comes in the name of the Lord, our Saviour and our King. Amen. Well, it is Palm Sunday. Easter is almost upon us. To think we didn't have an Easter service last year because lockdown had just started, and here we are, 12 months later, still not having an Easter Sunday service. Uh, we're hoping to restart services here in the Watton Church the Sunday after Easter. So I'll we'll keep you posted on that. But at the moment, we're still managing with our video services like this. And our, before, before we have the reading, we're going to sing. And this is going to be quite an informal sort of service. <clears throat> so... Get your percussion instruments ready and be prepared to do actions at home as well. We'll start by singing, What a Wonderful Saviour is Jesus. What a wonderful friend is he. For he left all the glory of heaven, came to earth to die on Calvary. Sing Hosanna. Hosanna was what the people cried as they welcomed Jesus into the city. It's a, an expression that actually means, Lord, save us or save us now. And it has become a general expression of praise, hasn't it? So on this Palm Sunday, let's sing Hosanna. Right, put it in the right key. What a wonderful Saviour is Jesus, what a wonderful friend is he. For he left all the glory of heaven, came to earth to die on Calvary. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. He arose from the grave, hallelujah, and he lives nevermore to die. At the Father's right hand interceding, he will hear and heed our fainters cry. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. He is coming some day to receive us. We'll be caught up to heaven above. What a joy it will be to behold him. Sing forever of his grace and love. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna. 
Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King. Our reading is from Mark's Gospel, chapter 11, starting to read at verse 1. The Triumphal Entry As they approached Jerusalem, and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus said to two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you doing this? Tell them, the Lord needs it, and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the coat to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Here ends the reading. Here is a reflective prayer from the United Reform Prayer Handbook based on that passage. Fling wide the gates. With cloaks and leaves laid in the road, let the people shout. Give thanks to God for his everlasting love. With arms stretching high to wave and to welcome, let the people shout, Open the gates of justice for us this day. With voices raised up loud and uncontrolled, let the people shout, The stone that was rejected will be our salvation. Everlasting God, fling wide the gates. Come to us now in our time, for we need your salvation, your justice, your everlasting love. Come to us now. We welcome you. Amen. That prayer is taking up the idea that uh, one of the things that people were looking for was justice, because the words... Hosanna means save us now. For many people in that crowd, it was perhaps a political cry asking that they would be saved from the power of their enemies. You see, I always think of Palm Sunday as being a day of misunderstanding. 
there were at least three groups of people there and they had different ideas about what was happening on that day. On the one hand, you've got many in the crowd who were zealot nationalists, Jewish nationalists, who wanted to overthrow the Romans and seek freedom for their nation, freedom fighters, who would use violence to achieve what they wanted. And they might well have thought that Jesus was coming to join them and indeed to lead them, that he was going to raise an army and defeat the Romans. So they had their political agenda that they were thinking of when they cried out, Hosanna, save us. That's what they were thinking of, kicking the Romans out. Then there were other people in the crowd who would have been religious Jews, not so much nationalistic, but sincere religious people. And I'd include the disciples amongst this category. And they wanted to purify the worship of Israel. They wanted to re-establish true religion in Israel. And they thought that Jesus was going to do that. He would cleanse the temple. He would purify the priesthood. He would re-establish true Judaism. That's what they were thinking. And those disciples who were with them thought that they would be in on that right at the beginning and they would be his right-hand men on either side of him, helping him re-establish true religion in Israel. And so for them, when they cried out, those people, they cried out, Hosanna. It was perhaps a religious cry. Save us, Lord, from false religion and, and bring true relationship with God to us. So there, there were some genuine cries there. But even they didn't really understand what Jesus had come to do. The disciples didn't understand because the third group, in fact just one person, understood really what was happening. That was Jesus himself. And he knew that he had come not to force the Romans out of the country. He wasn't riding a war horse. After all, he was riding a humble donkey. Nor had he come just to revive Judaism and re-establish worship in the temple and just to become the saviour of the Jews. No. He had come to be the saviour of the world, Gentiles as well as Jews. He had come to offer himself as a sacrifice for the sins of mankind. And he knew that it was going to involve the way of the cross. Jesus, perhaps amongst all the people there, was the only one who realized that he was on his way to his death. He knew it would not be long before he would be arrested and crucified. He knew it was going to happen, and he had warned his disciples, but they never really seemed to take it in. He also knew he was going to defeat death and sin, and the power of Satan. And that he was going to rise again on the third day. He knew that as well. But of all the people in that crowd. Jesus was the one. Who really knew what was happening. He was going to the cross. It was. A day. Of misunderstanding. Well we're going to sing a song now. Which is. Which um, is about Jesus riding a donkey into Jerusalem. We have a king who rides a donkey. But it also talks about Jesus rising from the dead. Jesus the king is risen. So if you like, it's looking back at Palm Sunday from the perspective of Easter Sunday. And the realization that, that riding the donkey into Jerusalem was just the beginning of a train of events that resulted in him rising from the dead. So let's sing together. We have a king who rides a donkey. Well, you won't have any difficulty with the tune because it's, what shall we do with a drunken sailor? We 
have a king who rides a donkey. We have a king who rides a donkey. We have a king who rides a donkey. And his name is Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. can wave, you can wave your hands at the next bit. If you haven't got palm branches, you can wave the palms of your hands like that. Trees are waving a royal welcome. Trees are waving a royal welcome. Trees are waving a royal welcome to the king called Jesus. Jesus, the king is risen. Jesus, the king is risen, Jesus, the king is risen early in the morning. We have a king who cares for people, we have a king who cares for people, we have a king who cares for people, and his name is Jesus. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. What shall we do with our life this morning? What shall we do with our life this morning? What shall we do with our life this morning? Give it up in service. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen. Jesus, the King is risen early in the morning. So there we are. Although it is still only Palm Sunday, we're already thinking about Jesus rising from the dead and triumphing over sin and death, and that's what Easter is all about. So we are coming now to the end of the first part of our video, and I'll see you in a minute for the second part. <laughs>